Hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel I like to talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemedia.org. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcasts or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. All right, um, I just released a video on the other colorway of this shoe. Uh, you see that butterfly logo, <laughs> so you know exactly what these are. Let's go ahead and get them out of the box, shall we? All right, uh, I just did a review of the other edition of this sneaker. Um, I liked them so much, I had to order a pair for myself. So this pair is actually the Mikado edition, and that's because they feature some design elements from Japanese tattoo artist Mikado Horimatsu. Sorry, I butchered that, I know. <laughs> but um, anyhow, if you didn't watch my first review, please go back to my channel and check that out. These, I will have uh, some on feet. These ones do belong to me. The, the previous pair were uh, a friend of mine from work, and he was nice enough to let me review those. Uh, but these ones are mine, so. Like I said, I was so impressed. Uh, like I said before, I was so impressed with those sneakers that I had to order a pair for myself. And, um... Uh, there were two problems. Uh, the other colorway that I did a review on... Uh, they didn't have my size in those and i don't know what it was Th this pair kind of stuck out to me a little bit more uh the colorway that is and so i went ahead and grabbed a pair of these uh one thing i didn't have from the other review uh for obvious reasons <laughs> uh when you order they send you a letter uh just thanking you for being a part of their first release, which I thought was very nice. And it's, it's printed on very nice paper, actually. Um, the letter says, uh, Dear Brian, thank you for being a part of the first Project Alpha product release. It has been almost three years since we kicked off Project Alpha. It is such a long journey for us. We appreciate your love, and it has been an honor and a pleasure that you support us as a new brand. House of Dizygotic doesn't only mean the design house here in Arizona and Oregon, or Nectar Lab in China. It, it's also the artists, the collectors, and the community. It's you. Welcome aboard. Sincerely, House of Dizygotic. So, that was a very nice touch. I like it. All right, so if you've seen the first video or if you've seen another review of these, you know that it has a very unique box. It's uh, held together by magnets and it splits apart just like so. Um, each box contains a card, and the card just tells you about the, uh, the, the Japanese folklore Peach Boy and the story tied to the design elements of the shoe. Uh, the shoes are held in place by these uh, clear rubber bands. And before we get these out, actually, I'm gonna pull out the laces. So you get a white pair, it's in there, a green pair, and a lavender pair. And then like with the other edition, you get this, uh, custom design brooch brooch I don't know if I'm saying that correctly <laughs> but uh, each one is designed uh, special for the addition of the sneaker so that's also a cool touch and on to the sneakers themselves out with you sneaker number one And sneaker number two. Oh, no, oh, oh. Man, that's in there pretty snug. I'll get close up to the box again, but I mean it's a it's a pretty cool concept. 
Again, I'm not big on saving my boxes, but I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. All right, so the colorway for these is Dusty Lavender and Jade Green. And the uh, design aspect is the same as the other, whereas there's no straight lines anywhere on the shoe, uh, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, the upper features this uh, premium pigskin suede, which is, I mean, it's so soft to the touch. It's, it's very nice. One thing I noticed that's different from this sneaker is the uh, butterfly design is also in suede. On the other edition, the butterfly design was in leather. So the entire upper features this, uh, what, what they call dusty lavender. And then you've got some hits of this blue. There's two different shades of blue. The butterfly is actually a lighter shade. And then you've got another hit of brown that runs midfoot to midfoot all the way around the back. Oh man, you could tell that these are handmade. There's a little bit of a uh, glue or something on the suede right here. That's unfortunate like a scuff mark right here on the suede. So that that might just be that that might just be, you know, because they're handmade, mistakes like that are going to happen. It almost looks like yeah, it's glue. 100%. So I might be able to get that off um, since it's just glue. But yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyhow, just like the other edition, um, it has this stripe down the front uh, that says Momotaro and it is 3M material so it will reflect uh, which is cool on the tongue more of that 3M material right here holding down the laces and then you have the uh, Dizygotic logo on top and then moving around to the heel again just like the other sneakers these have Peach Boy and Oni on the rear of the shoe. The, the only difference is uh, these ones were designed by the Japanese tattoo artist, uh, whereas on the other edition, they were designed by a graffiti artist. So they look pretty much the same, subtle differences. If you go back and watch the other video, you'll see it. So continuing with the theme, one thing that I really like about these shoes is, uh, you know, the, the whole thing with fraternal twins, they're the same, but they're different. So the, everything is mismatched, which I really dig. And on the right shoe, the toe box is that violet color and the heel is the green color. But on the left shoe, it's opposite. The toe box is the green. The heel is the violet, uh, along with, the, uh, uh, along with the, uh, the inside of the shoe, same thing. One's green, one's violet. And then uh, subtle, subtle differences like the uh, the strap for the laces uh, on the on the right shoe, the front one's purple, the back one's green. On the left shoe, front one's green, back one's purple. Just little things like that. Um, also on the the three M striping, uh, on the three M striping it says uh, Mamatero in Japanese instead of uh, English. And then up here on the tongue. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Dizygotic in Japanese, but I'm not sure. I couldn't find anything about this on the website, so I'm just guessing here. Uh, but pretty sure that's what that is. And then again on the pull tab, it's in Japanese instead of English. So nice, nice little touches. Um, on the outsole, the outsole features uh, Vibram. And I finally get to see what it feels like. Uh, again, I've been told that it's kind of like New Balancey feeling where, you know, you got some cushion, but there is good support. So excited to see how that feels on feet. But on the right side, the outsole is green. And on the left side, it's the lavender, dusty lavender. And then both of them have uh, the Vibram logo in orange on both sides. So that's pretty cool. Moving on to the inside of the shoe. Oh, sorry. Um, again, sticking with the mismatch theme, uh, the right one comes pre-laced with these purple rope laces, and it has the Dizygotic logo on the eyelet. The left shoe comes with the green rope laces. 
So I'll probably rock these for a little while before I switch to the flat laces. But uh, yeah, I, I tend to prefer flat laces, but I'll leave these in for the moment. Rock them like that for a little while. All right, now moving to the inside. So each insole, so each insole has the Daizygotic logo and it features a design from Japanese tattoo artist Makoto. It's, I mean, that's really cool. I dig that design a lot. Let's see what's on the other one. Oh, I lied. Um, on the left shoe, it's actually a uh, Makoto, I guess that's his logo. And then uh, there's a, there's the other design. Really cool. I dig that a lot. And then just like the other edition, uh, the strobel has a design on it. On the left side, it's the dizygotic butterfly. And on the right side, it just says uh, dizygotic. All scattered about in there. So, yeah, pretty cool. I Like I said, I dig the the same but different kind of style going on. And when I did the review of the other edition, one thing that I forgot to mention was the inside is lined with memory foam. So I forgot to mention that before. So I'm excited to see how that feels now that I get to put them on. All right, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get some close-ups and some on feet of these beauties, shall we?
All right, so uh, uh, as expected, having these on feet, uh, these are very comfortable. Uh, pretty much as it was described to me, they kind of feel like a New Balance shoe. Uh, a little bit more squishier in my opinion. Nevertheless, very comfortable. Uh, I can easily wear these all day. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to rock these. Uh, I can't wait. So retail for this edition, same as the other ones. It's uh, $267, which is a bit steep. Uh, you got to keep in mind that these are premium materials and these are handmade. So uh, for, for what you're getting, $267, yeah, I mean, it's right there. Um, it is, you know, it's priced up there with the Yeezy, but Yeezys are not handmade. And so when you consider the premium materials and, you know, the fact that they're handmade, I, I feel like it's a fair price point. Um, for this edition, there were a few sizes left last time I checked, but most of most of the larger sizes were sold out. Um, I'll still leave a link in the description if you're interested. And there are some sizes left of the other edition as well. So if you're interested, head on over there and check them out, see if you can grab a pair in your size. Um, oddly enough, I don't see these anywhere on StockX. Um, I did see a pair on eBay uh, for the other edition, the, the navy um, colorway. And the, the price was listed for retail, so as far as resale is concerned, there's not really a market for it, it would seem, which is a good thing, because that means that the people who are buying these shoes are actually people who want the shoe, which is how it should be, right? Um, but if you were trying to find a pair of these and your size was sold out, maybe you can do like a, a save search on eBay and a pair will pop up sooner or later, but uh, as of right now, yeah, there's there's nothing really in the uh, the resale market as far as uh, these are concerned. I thought for sure I would see at least one pair of the Cheech and Chong colorway, but nothing, N not not a single pair on StockX. So uh, that is both surprising and encouraging. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great afternoon, and like always, thank you for watching.